Hello, I'm Xenolith. Let's play Endless Legend as the Roving Clans. Ah, here are level ups. Always good. Nice amount of industry. And we're going to build a first new city in quite a while. We have the Golden Tree, one of the best approval wonders. Probably the best, because it gives 20. Forest, lots of forest. And the river here. This is actually an awesome region. Still deciding where to settle. Maybe here. That way I get a few river tiles and no, it's still less food than around this anomaly. Alright, why not just here? Gives me a food heavy anomaly and I'm surrounded by forests. Okay, mustn't forget to queue up the next barrow next turn. And the rest seems fine. I have no population on dust right now, but I am producing lots of units. And the building cost reduction is almost essential. Let's get this one going. I think that's her. Yep. And we have 40 influence. So... We're about to fulfill this part of our faction quest as well. Let's check if it's a multi-part quest or... No, it's really just this one condition. So this is proceeding nicely. Right, let's not forget 
this. Oh dear. Five turns, six turns if I build it first. What will it actually give me? This tile. And that's all. Two fits from here because it costs one food two influence, two dust, two signs so eight fits not that useful even though it provides five approval well it would put me to ferment <laughs> what did I just say? <laughs> It'll make my city fervent. Hmm. I'd rather have the influence so I can eventually run this plan and I'm confused oh of course Nothing else we can do here besides queue up two more ended. And I don't remember if I checked for demons this turn. One terrain, two terrains, three. Three tiles that would benefit from geomic labs. That's enough, but barely. Apparently, my cats went on a rampage. Okay, let's queue this up. And this. Also want my signs at some point. <sighs> so little production here. From sandstone, sandstone. Hmm. Already have all the production from buildings that I can have right now. I'd have to wait for the next era for the really important industry buildings. Of course, the display hasn't updated yet. The minus 33% industry cost on buildings. So let's do that.
I'd like to buy 10 gold, please. At least this one is fervent. This one finally finish. Also really want the lab. And time to start building burrows. Can't quite afford another burrow, so I'll build Central Market first and then start building burrows. Oh, I'm anticipating. having to use my unit soon, so I'll start buying Ended as well. Moonleaf, it's all fine. Of course, winter isn't fine. Not at all. Minus production is the new debuff. Well, it slows the game down, for sure. Demons. Well, where is the city? Oh, can see the city borders here. Now, I've just researched the privateer tech. And the first thing I'll do is, of course, try it out. Let's see how the AI fares against these units. Three defenders. I can probably just attack. And it's just two necro drones. They have good stats, but I have tripled their life. And slightly better stats, so yeah. Won't go well for them. And we've reigned in the Necros expansion a bit. With a bit of a benefit, as you can see here. So now that we are starting to generate industry stockpiles with our mercenaries, what I'll research next, after peace that is, is stockpiles. So all these stockpiles that we're going to be generating will be producing loads of industry for us. 
we might will be using our own settlers to expand. Now what do I want? Suez? Yep. Buy that out. Mill, buy it out. All, all, all the important stuff. Seed storage I can just build. And probably in that order. Apprenticeship thingy. Titanium and definitely the wine. The, the wine I'll buy out. It's cheap. Mm, could even do it in this order. And right away, granary. Oh, apparently there is a third village in this undiscovered tile here. <laughs> Because that's the only one I haven't explored. Ah, that's great. I'll have to move back up. And with our wine production starting next turn, we won't ever have to buy new wine. Wine. And we'll soon be able to activate Moonleaf permanently. Which will also allow us to expand a bit. So let's queue up a settler somewhere. Uh, I'm not sure where. In a city where I don't have any useful buildings to build would be a good idea. After this ended. Seems fine. So for now I want peace with the Walters. I have an actual border with them now. Yes, yes. Let's see how that city is doing now. Thirteen turns. Probably because of the winter debuff to industry. I don't think there is much I can do right now, except press next turn. In a turn where a booster ends, we don't get quest counters to increase if you happen to fall below any thresholds like the produced influence per turn. 
even if you reactivate the boosters immediately. Let's get them back to the city to heal up. I want this one. Which city is Shen? M something. Twelve dust. It's alright, I guess. Maybe we should queue up that. No, more burrows. And we're starting our next settler. The question of well, where to settle still remains. Maybe next to blue. here for the second gold okay that's probably what I'll do right we'll finally get fervent in this city Oh, we stopped being fervent because of expansion disapproval, of course. So there's this glory of empire. Because this one is fairly expensive. I'll delay it a bit. Now let's see if I'll have to pay them for peace or if they'll just give it to me. Uh, what now? I see. I'll to this one as well. And queue up this village. After this one, right. Seems pretty reasonable. We're getting this. That's really, really good. And a few complete constructions. It is said that all things come to he who has patience. That, alas, was hardly my most obvious trait. 
I was learning patience, however, as the unfolding of my great plan had taught me as much about myself as about my world. I urged my followers to move for to move onward, ever onward, as the clans do. From other peoples we had learned of dust and origa. From resources and anomalies we had learned of hidden magics of the past. And next I determined that we would bring these things together and unlock the greatest secrets of all. The Academy of Teneb stated unquestionably that the greatest resonance of dust from across Auriga lay somewhere beneath our feet. What great labyrinth of the ancients had been built? What strange load or mine of dust might exist there? Feverish ideas crossed my mind as my body tossed sleepless during the hot nights. Patience required that I wait and watch and observe, but when I finally would once when I but when finally I would once more be able to act, I resolved that I would find that I would fall like the fury of a desert storm. Okay, it's a liberate the region and find ruined quest. This can be fairly hard if you don't know where the region is. So Hopefully it's somewhere close. Well. Well, in any case, let's see. Well, they're happy with peace. Nice. <laughs> Not willing to give me text, though. It's willing to give me this tech? Weird. Titan bones? 48 Titan bones. Definitely something I'll take. Emeralds? Something I'll take as well. Gold? Fine, so I don't have to buy it. And I suppose I'll take this tech. Right, it's fine. And let's give them a compliment. Pitting. <laughs> How nice. So we'll want to activate those as soon as winter ends.
a demon. I'll have to sell something. Titanium might be enough. Barely not. Uh, I suppose I could sell dyes. Empire defeated. Which one? Broken Lords. Huh. Interesting. Why is it the necrophages that seem to be doing well? Let's go back to a military comparison. Well, they are doing a bit better. Definitely want that. The others aren't that useful. Right, I forgot about, forgot about those. Let's upgrade these. Should give them a hundred attack or so. A uh, hundred damage, I mean. And I have some here as well. Much better stats this way. Now I'd like to explore in this direction and meet the eyes, preferably piece them, and then raise the region with privateers. Of course I have to reach them first, and I'm not sure if you can convert an army to privateers in friendly territory or if it has to be yours specifically. And 
yes, that is fine. Uh, that seems like a solid road. So... I might want to buy out right away. So I can connect to their trade network. I'll do that. Don't see me... Um, hmm, I might need some titanium. But... I think this will give me more of a benefit. Let's see how much it in increases next turn. Do I have any negative impact on science from winter? I don't think so. I can just activate that immediately. And I want Finally, these resources for plows. Also, industry in era 5, um, era 4, I mean. Let's see how their tech is doing. They're at 36! Wow. So they are in era 5 now. This is very concerning. Very, very good stats. I want to keep buying demons. But I can't with my low dust income during winter. Ah, oh, that's nice. Okay, use those, please. Nice amount of dust. Oh, and I forget to forgot to buy a hero for this um, new city. So I'll do that next turn. Let's see if I have any external trade routes now. No, I don't. Maybe I first need to scout um, the Volter cities out. That's possible. That's how it worked in Endless Space. Get that silence going. More expansions. Let's 
probably has more of an impact. And then I can get Caravanserai and this one right after it borrows. Of course, in era 4 I get the next army size increase, I want to get that as well. And I'm not sure what else to build here. Possibly more settlers? Yeah, why not? I'm sure there'll be more regions I'll... Very... Very peacefully visit. They are a bit underleveled. Could stand to be level 4 or 5. Um, where's this one? Let's actually separate that one out and go exploring a bit. Nothing to do for you this turn. Now let's see. Next turn, I want to buy a hero. Definitely. Hyperium is good. Pixie blood, pixie blood, dust orchid, red sang. Pick's blood isn't that useful. And it's the only one I have enough of to use consistently. Oh, both tier 3 strategics, that's good. So give me another two industry panels. And just auto. No XP, but that's fine. Now, where do I settle? I could settle on the gold. But this is actually a fine location. With mineral rich. Maybe here, so I can build an expansion to the second mineral rich immediately. That's fine. Okay, now I can actually use my stockpiles. Well, yeah, but it's still only 175. There's a display bug. Here it shows plus 700, but it's actually plus 150. And this research is the one that gives you plus 700 on stockpiles. A 
I don't have adamantium, so there's no point in researching these two techs yet. So what I might want to do is just get this. Or not. Hmm. I might want those food exploitations. Alright, fine. I'll be amassing enough. Time to grow in this city. And retrofit this. Probably wipe out this next and settle over it. here now. And I suppose enough industry tiles now that this is worth it. So... Yep, we can start growing. District here as well. So I might want it in the towards the right. Let's see if I have an external trade right now. Yeah. Now I have a lot of income from external trade routes. Which is good. Time to buy that hero I said I would buy. Bad stats. On her as well. And it's just not useful on in forests or for trade routes. Because their capacities are fighting oriented. Maybe I'll actually get the Necro one, because I have three villages. Hmm, 
what are his points spent on uselessly here? And <laughs> very, very uselessly here. On her, also bad. And on him, not spend at all. In that case, it's the choice between the one production on forests and her trade route bonuses. I think I'll go for the trade routes. This thing, which I can't afford this turn though. Now that I think about it, I could just assign her to this, get the next drum movement boost, and have her level from the rune searches. Ah, that quest. It's not that useful. better position now and we know where the two strongest AIs are so if they start to get close to a victory condition we can start wiping out their cities and the plan against teal is to do that anyway so I can just continue to settle more cities and start breaking it that trade route gold. We are at 300, which still isn't very much. But for now, let's spend a few of my stockpiles on my weakest cities. That's actually not that weak anymore. Alright, thanks for watching.